What's up, everyone? No, today, we're going to be talking about why Sonic X Shadow Generations is going to matter. And in this video, I'll be talking about just that and why I think this is a good thing. And it's not just a remaster, but it's more important than just that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. So as we look into the future of Sonic and the games in remasters of the games, we have to look at what they give us in the games. Well, if you look at this trailer, not only does the game look a little bit more better, but this honestly is the best looking Sonic game ever. Yes, I think it's better than Frontiers, and yes, I think it's better than Unleashed. I think this game is the most beautiful and best looking Sonic game we have ever had yet. So, I think that this is just more than a remaster of a game. I seriously think that this is going to mean more than just that. And I think that this is also going to restore Shadow's character in the franchise as a whole. I think this also matters as his character is for a summary is I think that this is going to restore his character to the golden days of Shadow. I think this is going to restore his character as the original Shadow we love and hold dear to our hearts. Not some edgy character who is heartless and doesn't care about anyone. We finally get to have the real Shadow and I think that this is a really good start because just like Shadow 05, and just like Shadow 05, we're going to go into the past. Well, not just like Shadow 05, but in this remaster, we're going to go back into Shadow's past. We're going to go and replay some levels that he's been in, or past games he's been in. And he's going to reverse the Doom and Bio Lizard. And it also says right here, featuring never before seen powers and abilities so looks like we are i feel like we're getting literally new powers for shadow if this is true this is going to add it to his character arc so much when shadow's old nemesis black doom re-emerges and threatens to take over the world shadow must join shadow must journey into his own past confront painful memories face familiar foes and unlock new powers to save the world and prove why he's the ultimate life form. So, I think this is going to restore his character arc as a whole. I think that this also is just more than just a remaster. I think that this is Sega's point of view of just saying to us that they care about remasters now because it, a lot of people didn't care about Sonic Colors Ultimate. Uh, there was a, it was glitchy, it, it was a lot of bugs. There was really not that much content added in. Yeah, you got extra scans so you battle Metal Sonic, but other than that, I think that's really it. If I'm forgetting stuff, you can put it down in the comments down below. But I think this is going to be... I think it's going to be more than just a remaster. I think Sega is really caring about this, and I think that this is going to not have a buggy mess because in this game, we're also going to get... I, I, I wonder if this is in a new engine or the same engine as Sonic generations like the base game I, I wonder if it's in a new engine because i've looked at some posts from the uh, game and it looks like the it looks like from screenshots it looks like there's new movement and stuff not new movement but like it looks cleaner i guess like like sonic forces kind of animations i guess Th those animations were good but the controls in that game were bad but uh, that's i digress but i think this is going to be such a better better remaster than Sonic Colors Ultimate because instead of just a remaster, they are going above and beyond and they are adding genuine more content and brand new content for us to enjoy. And I think that this is much needed for Sonic Generations because the base game is just so, it's, it's so short. <laughs> you can literally complete the game within two hours, I think. I don't even know the world record is, but you can literally complete you don't even have to go, you don't even have to go fast. You can literally just complete the game, I think in like, in less than Four to five hours and so i think this is going to add more content into the game to make it more longer and more meaningful than just Sh sonic's point of view this is going to be shadow's point of view as well go into the past and it also says right here shadow is going to confront painful memories so i seriously wonder are they going to show maria getting shot again so i wonder if i i think they're tr really trying to go into the past and show us and new audiences as well because there's more fans nowadays than in the past but i think they're going to try to show sh some a, a little snippet of shadows past and put it into the new audiences new audiences that have never experienced shadows past before and bring it to this new remaster and show his 
backstory uh, just a little bit. But I think that this is going to show also that it's going to regain our trust. I mean, I love Sonic Colors Ultimate, but I think for most fans, it's going to rebuild our trust in Sega as remastering games. Because before this remaster even happened, people were like a little bit mad and just like they weren't happy. They, they knew that Sonic Colors Ultimate was just a buggy mess and it was just like not really a good remaster. So I think... So I think this is also going to rebuild our trust into remasters once again for Sonic games. And I think also fans are going to be much more happier with this because it brings Shadow into it. It's going to rebuild his character arc. And I, I'm so happy because we finally get to see the real Shadow once again. Not some edgy, heartless character like we saw in Sonic Boom. We barely got him in Sonic Forces. And Sonic, we didn't even get him in Sonic Frontiers. And in the past, just any type of shadow in the past, after so after Sonic the Black Knight, starting with Sonic Generations, he only got one line, but still, you could just tell that he was just some edgy character that is heartless. And I feel like that this is a good start to a new beginning for Shadow. And I feel like we are, and I feel like Sega is going to try to actually bring back Shadow. And actually, I think they're going to probably go above and beyond and maybe make a standalone shadow game probably and add more character lore into his uh, character maybe or bring him a more important role in the next mainline sonic game i think they may just do that maybe but so also let's talk about the graphics for the enemies so start off with doom and bro this game looks so good the doom and bio lizard look so good this is why i think a remaster for this game, it's just so good for the franchise because, and it matters because I feel like if we see snippets of past Sonic games and the bosses, I feel like that they can show us what their true potential is in remastering a Sonic game and also showing us the graphics for a future Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 remaster because this is a remaster, not a remake, but a remaster of past bosses. And I think that this is so good. And it also, if you look in the trailer, it looks like that there's just brand new ways to fight the bosses. Or at least for Biolizard. But it's bringing back Shadow's abilities, and it says it maybe bring new ones. But I think also this is good because the graphics look good, and I think this also shows that they want us to experience all these boss battles again. At least a couple from Shadow's point of view. And in just more than just this game and showing Shadow's past, I think that this game also needs to show, like, the future of Shadow. As in, like, we can't just keep living in the past of Shadow. We need to go... We need to add onto his lore. We need to make new memories, make new characters for his lore, make new friendships, make new everything for him. So we can't just keep living in the past. So I think we need to start from this. This is a good start, so we need to start for this. And then from this, we need to take that and build it into the future of Shadow, as in we've never what we've never seen for Shadow before. So I think this is a really good start, and I think the next game for Shadow and his lore and everything, I think will be the future for his lore, and I think that this will be a good start. And I think that this is a really an excellent choice for this remaster, and I think this is why it matters. Let me know what you got think down below in the comments, and I really wanted to think, or I really wonder what you guys think of this, and let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.